Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today we are in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania and we are at the Silver Moon Antique Mall. It has been a while since I have been here, um, so I'm excited to get inside. I know that they do have a number of new vendors, so that's always a wonderful thing to hear. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to keep today's introduction short and we'll get inside, see what we can't find. Hopefully it's a lot. Here it goes, guys. Here it is from the exterior. You've seen it before. It has been a good good while since we've been here. There used to be an old antique cop car parked up there, but it's not there anymore. Womp womp. All right, let's see if we can't find anything, shall we? Okay, guys, here we go on the interior. And as I mentioned outside, there are a number of new vendors, so it is exciting to see what things that they have for offer. Uh, first up, this is, I believe, a newer vendor. We did see a little glazed uh, Weller, uh, I was about to call it a decanter. I mean, I guess you could drink your wine out of that. That would be one heck of a night, I know that. <laughs> Um, I'm showing you what happens when you're a tall person and, um, you gotta watch out. Those chandeliers were right there. I'm telling you, it was a bit of an adventure here. I'm seeing this beautiful West Moreland green and white slag glass out of all of the slag glass color combinations. I think that the green, the mint or jadeite green and white is my favorite. Uh, so again, we're just kind of checking out perusing here this vendor's booth. They have it set up very nicely, very organized. Um, here we're kind of seeing an aisle, obviously, and I'm pointing down there. You see that door and obviously all the lights are turned off. That is a flea market um, that is held every Sunday. This used to only be a flea market, but that changed a number of years ago. Here we're picking up a cute little Lefton pink cat planter. Um, he's priced at $16. Now there is a few dollars that's left on this, but it, I'm talking like four, maybe on a good day, maybe about $10 in profit that's left on this one. Um, he was really cute. I think if it was half that price, I definitely would have wanted to pick it up just by virtue of the aesthetics. Now here we're seeing a Royal Bay Ruth. Um, this is a later piece. Um, in the Royal Bay Ruth production run, it is obviously a creamer. It's got beautiful iridescent glaze. Love the highly detailed sculpt. Unfortunately, there was a pretty significant repair there. Um, love that red owl bank there in the back. Here is a piece of milk glass, obviously. Um, it is Fenton. It is a little single epern. I love the simplicity of it. It is priced accordingly. Um, not a whole lot of room there. Uh, for resale, so I did leave it behind, though I do love, again, the simplicity of that piece. It's timeless. It's, you know, it's white. It's going to go in every decor. Now, here we're seeing some, let's call this more of a lavender or a lilac opalescent. Obviously, it is a two-handed basket. Um, it's priced at only $15. I do decide to pick this up. Um, I picked it up because of the coloring and because I'm a sucker for opalescent glass. You got me. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I was like, oh, do I want to do it? And I said, yes. Speaking of opalescence, look at this beautiful art glass bird. The opalescent effect, it is so thick and cloudy and ethereal. It's very heavenly. It's got a beautiful smooth bottom on it. There's no chips or cracks. Um, it's priced at only $10. And I was like, heck yes. I think it is a thing of beauty. Put this in a windowsill and just let the light play through it. I love opalescent glass, you guys. Here we're seeing, this is the same vendor's booth, we are seeing a collection of Easter decor. I love this little rubber squeaker. Look, she's got her Sunday bonnet on there, um, tucked behind her. She's priced, I think that there is, again, some room for resale. I didn't feel like taking the risk on that one, so I did leave her behind. She was unmarked. One thing that I didn't want to leave behind was this like very 60s um, mod little covered dish here. I love the day go day glow colors. She's adorable. There's no damage to her. She does have her little Japan sticker here on the bottom that I'm going to show you. Um, look, she was originally only two 99 and at $12, I definitely decide to go ahead and pick her up still in the same vendors booth, you guys. And we've got these adorable, super kitschy little lambs. I've never heard of Elvin's 
uh, ceramics before. The price is at $18. I do decide to go ahead and take a chance on this one. I think that they're unusual and they're super cute. Of course, we've got some very classic Ross Bro um, candy containers and baby rattles there. I'm not overly interested in those unless you can get them really cheaply. Um, there's room for profit, but more often than not, in like a lot of antique or vintage malls, you're not going to find a lot of room for profit on those. This is really interesting. I was like, is it is it Blanco? And I didn't think that it was. So I left it. Here we've got some Ellie Smith Moon and Stars. I love this. The fact that it still has its original paper hang tag on it. It's priced at $30. I think that's very fair. I was tempted simply because it had its original label. And I know that might sound weird, um, but it's an unusual uh, find in the fact that it has its tag. Talk about unusual. I was very excited by this. It is Blanco. And I was like, do they know what this is? Is it price? Am I going to be able to afford it? Can I get this? It's obviously in this beautiful $15. What? They even knew what it was. I thought, heck yes, I'm going to pick this up at $15. Are you serious? Oh my gosh, great, unusual find. This is an earlier piece of Blanco. Most of the more modern pieces, you are going to see that they are etched um, with the Blanco and typically they will include the year. So here we've got some pink depression glass. Um, I saw this satin glass bud vase. It's only $8. I did decide to leave it behind. I wasn't overly excited by it. Um, here we've got a little Raggedy Ann planter. She is from Relpo. I'm going to flip her over so you can see here. Um, I, You know, there is room for profit on her, but I was like, oh, oh darn, yep. There's a chip. And I was like, well, can you see it? And then I was like, no, not from the, and I was like, oh yeah, you can really see it. So I did decide to leave her behind. We're next door at the next vendors. Now I do believe that they, these, this vendor here is a new one. Um, I love this chalkware little carnival prize girl. I typically see her a lot, so I'm not overly excited uh, by the piece. I think one thing that's really important for resale is always to try to find unique items, things that you haven't seen um, go up, uh, whether that's on eBay or whether it's a YouTube live sale or on Instagram, however you choose to sell. If you're having a hard time finding it, that's usually a good indicator um, that you should buy it because it's one of those things that other people aren't going to have. And that really, you know, it gets people excited. I love going to sales where I'm like, oh, I've never seen that before. Um, some cute cats, they're okay. Not, they're, they're all right. They're, they're nothing. Um, I think if the painting was, was better, if the eyes were more stylized. And earlier we did see that beautiful ameth amethyst uh, in poly glass decanter. That was unusual. Finding it in the amethyst glass is difficult. I would have liked to have picked it up. Um, unfortunately, I didn't really like the $75 price tag on it. So <laughs> I left it. Um, of course, we're checking out some more glass here. Again, it, there's nothing overly unique um, or something that's screaming, hey, I'm different, um, but still worth capturing on camera. I love the blues. Uh, again, I think a blue is one of those colors that's it's kind of universal and it is timeless in the fact that it can be used in so many different seasons and a lot of different decors. As is green, you can use it for spring and summer. Um, most certainly can use it for Christmas too. And if you get that dark green, um, like that mossy green, that goes great in your fall decors. Now, this vendor obviously loved them some Coca-Cola and they loved them some Coca-Cola advertisement. I don't really know anything about it, but I thought, hey, this is a pretty impressive collection. I want to show it. And then I said, oh, there's a pet, there's a lurker. Now, I did really appreciate this little chandelier here. That was pretty impressive. Now, I did spot this blue opalescent um, little rose bowl here. Unfortunately, uh, there's a pretty significant crack in that. Um, and at $10, I was like, oh, no, no. However, they did have, and this is like a, a metal. He's pretty weighted down here on the bottom. Um, he does have a flat bottom, so he will stand up straight. It's obviously a bank. Um, the price was right. I thought that he was unusual, um, you know, and only how many dollars? Five dollars, folks. We definitely picked him up. He's got a little bit of a dented smile, but, you know, to be expected at that age, you know, <laughs> but he's still smiling, darn it. We've got some great salt and pepper shakers here. Uh, $10, I was like, mm -hmm. 
I loved these googly eyed crabs. Um, Norcrest, I was like, oh, love me some Norcrest, but are they uh, $15? Great for a collector, not so much for me at resale. I love the crabs because my astrological sign is Cancer, so you know, we have a soft spot. $10 here for the matte black whale, mama whale and baby whale. Um, they were cute, but well, no, it really wasn't screaming by me. What was screaming by me were the, look at the, <laughs> they're only seven fifty. These little gator salt and pepper shakers. I mean, they're so like, excuse me. I'm like, no, excuse me. Cause you're going to go in my basket, little ones. Look at those faces. How could you not? Adorable. Right above, we've got some Roseville, the Donatella. Um, appreciate, don't necessarily love. What I did love, love this. And I picked this up specifically. Um, she's Napco. But I picked this up because I have seen so many comments, um, specifically to fishing, where so many of you have such fond memories of you know, being a child and fishing with your father. Um, and I thought, you know what? I think that this is going to speak to um, the nostalgia. So I did decide to go ahead and pick this one up. Great condition. All right, guys, here is a quick basket shot. Look at the goodies. They are piling up, but we're not done. No, we're not. Here we have got some Balik, and I love, love this beachy theme with that pink and the crustaceans and the shells, a little sassy uh, onion here jar. He's at $30. I did decide to leave it behind because it seemed, leave him behind. <laughs> leave him behind. Uh, comps were very similar to that. Now I did get this little Kittles. I'm trying to get some retro and vintage toys to have a specific sale. So we're slowly gathering those things up. Now here is this beautiful green glass juicer and a measuring cup. It does of course have the strainer here. Um, so that way, if you were measuring out your lemon juice, um, you know, it's right there. Now, this one kind of tricked me. It doesn't have any uranium in it, so it does not glow. And you would most certainly think, given that beautiful glowing green color in the daylight that it would, it does not. Um, so to me, this is like a 60s or 70s piece. Still vintage, um, but it's not in that 20s, 30s, 40s realm. Um, good condition. I was just making sure there was no chips or cracks to it. There is some burring excess glass that's left over from the molding uh, process, kind of to be expected. Here we've got some Miller Studio 1972 chalkware, only $2, so heck yeah, I picked him up. He's too cute to leave behind. This vendor had got has a number of toys, these great Punch and Judy uh, puppets. They're amazing. I love the lithographs. We've got some wind up natives down here, um, little howdy doody. Oh my gosh, there is even a taxidermy blowfish, folks. Yes, there is. I love seeing these. Look at that giant. And I do believe it. I don't know if it's actually carved wood, if it's like a composite that was poured into a mold, which I think actually is the case, that cherub there. And again, we've got some busts up here. I just loved the overall aesthetic and vibe of it. And of course, we've got some Asian decor over here, a lot of souvenir pieces. And then next door to hit, we've got this super creepy butler. <laughs> I was like, if I step near this thing and it jumps out at me, I, I will not be held responsible for <laughs> my actions. <laughs> but it didn't. He's turned off. And below creepy, we've got something super cute. This is a, a doll. Obviously, it's a vinyl doll, and his name is Skippy. He's wearing his name badge quite proudly there. Um, he is a vinyl. He is an F&B doll. There was a whole line of Skippy dolls wearing a variety of different outfits. He is in overall really good condition. I will need to clean up his face. Um, I do believe he has inset eyes. In other words, they're not molded in. They were actually a separate piece. So I do decide to pick him up because he's so darling and cute. And then talking about creepy, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Professional van ventriloquist figures. I'm like, oh, professional, I don't know. professional murderer. I mean, that thing is like ready to get you. <laughs> oh. No, thank you. Those things don't normally creep me out. That one creeped me out. 
Okay, so here we've got Lila, 1970s, $250 for the table, all of the chairs, those vinyl covered chairs. How amazing is this? It's a beautiful set. I think we often see like 40s and 50s, those, um, like the, <laughs> the linoleum is what I meant. Uh, the tin tables, we don't often see the 70s stuff, so I just wanted to spotlight that. And our last item, you guys, is this darling little composite doll. She was priced at only $12. I think she's super cute in amazing condition, so we do pick her up. That's it, guys. We're going to wrap it up outside. Alrighty guys, well there you have it. I think that, that was amazing. There was a lot of new vendors in there. That's always exciting to see. Congratulations, Silver Moon Antique Mall. Um, I hope that you guys continue to grow and add new vendors into your mall. I hope that you guys did enjoy today's video, that you had some fun, you got some laughs. I think that we picked up some unusual things um, with like the dolls and the toys, but I'm excited about it. It's always good to kind of branch out and um, I don't know, we'll, we'll see how they do, I guess. So until next time, guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.